Nick the Tech Guru here. I'm bringing you a um, overview of a Dish Remote Access app for the Android. I recently upgraded uh, my receiver to a Dish VIP 612. It's a single TV tuner, um, DVI receiver, HD. So I just want to go over some of the features of this. Um, first, to go over what Dish actually did, they came in, hooked up this thing that uh, hooks up to the phone line and it hooks up to the internet. And all it uses is your electric, and basically it connects, makes makes running movies easier through the receiver, and also connects it so you have Dish on demand. Um, and it also gives you access to this um, this app too, so you can set your DVR recordings on the fly, and it is very handy. First, I'm going to go over to the guide, and this is a very nice guide because um, you can see what's on, and you can record things off of this. For example. Um, I'm going to go to this Madden th NFL 13 pigskin, uh, <clears throat> pigskin Pro-Am. And here you can watch or record. I don't have a sling sling adapter from Dish. I have my own sling uh, sling box, so it's you can't use that watch feature, but I can show you what the record does. The record options you get, this, all, or new. I usually do new um, for series, so then everything else is recorded in the future. Uh, it tells you how much time is left. Gives you a couple of different things. Um, talks about the uh, the actual um, thing that you want to record there. Um, you know, same options for everything else. I'm going to actually take you and show you what's on my DVR now. These are the recordings that I have. Um, here's what's scheduled. What's nice about these scheduled is um, one thing that is. I have really liked is that it shows you know the times that are on, what channel, and you know overall it just gives you a great breakdown of a lot of different uh, a lot of different aspects of what you're scheduling. So you know if there's any um, conflicts with things. For example, this right here is a conflict. Um, don't judge on what I uh, I'm recording. Some of the crap is my girlfriend stuff, so. Don't judge. I know you guys are haters, so calm down. But anyways, I've all these are since this is um, a single TV tuner. Actually, it's a dual tu tuner, so that means I can record two things at once or watch watch one uh, one show while I'm DVRing something else. So here, I've got three things that are taping at once. This is where priorities come in handy. One of these I can skip out and um, basically allows me to. Um, solve the conflict and make sure that I can record um, two things. So I'm going to go back here. Let's say, for example, I want to record Law & Order. It's going to load it up. I want to record it. I'm going to record all the new ones. Here I can go and select what channels, episodes. Um, for example, I'm going to hit OK, 120 episodes. it's going to set that. So now I can go back to my DVR. I'm going to go to what's uh, my timer I've set because all these all these are basically called timers. So I'm going to go to Law & Order SVU. And in here it's nice because you can set your priority. I have a bunch of other things already set. And this is basically if there's a conflict it'll record the first or the second depending if you're watching something. Here I can record you know whether I want all episodes every day, Monday to Friday, same weekday, one-time thing. I can also set a max recordings from 1 to 25. Um, I can start, tells you when, you know, how early I want to start it. You get all the way up to 60 minutes before and then how often, how long after, and you can do it all the way up, down to 90 minutes, which is pretty handy. And, for example, I'm just going to delete this because I don't need it. There's one issue I did find with this app and that is let's say I wanted to um, say there's a conflict in here and we'll go back to this said I didn't want to skip these bottom two TV shows and I and I wanted to skip the top it doesn't let me skip it which is pretty annoying and also let's say I skip skip this episode right here it doesn't let me try to find a time in the future to, to uh, tape it again. I just have to go in and 
and uh, search and, and try to find it and then reschedule it. It'd be nice if they added a way to actually go in and you know have it automatically DVR a future uh, future episode since you're skipping it here. Another nice feature is the search feature. Let's just say I want to DVR Sports Center. It is very handy. It pulls up anything that's either playing now. You know, I have all these different options here today, later. My DVR. I usually do anytime. It makes it finding things easier. And I'm going to get a ton of listings here, more than likely. You get a special. Um, this is nice because it shows you when it's airing. It's going to get all the episodes of when Sports Center is going to be airing, and you can select which episode you want to record. And this is particularly handy when it comes to, um, you know, series that you're trying to catch up on. It's, you know, I'll, for example, you probably saw in there I had a ton of Pawn Stars. I haven't watched Pawn Stars in a while, and I want to get back into it. So I, I went in and recorded a bunch of them at once. And this is nice because you can go in and select every, uh, you can select all these episodes, or you do one by one. And it tells you the time it's on, you know, when it starts, and how many more hours or days. And that's really just handy. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here and search. Um, let's click there. I'm gonna go back and search an another TV show here that I'm uh, interested in. It's, it's a decent show. It's something new. It kind of gets old after a while, but uh, it's another. Stupid reality show, but I, it's kind of entertaining. Shipping Wars. Okay, so here it's showing you. Um, it, basically, this thing goes out and finds, check, searches the whole guide to find when new episodes are coming on. And you can go and, and schedule and record each one of these. So it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. But I believe that is a pretty good uh, overview of the... Dish Remote Access app. There's a couple different little video settings in here you can do if you have a sling adapter set up. Um, there's a remote option if you want to. You can use this remote with Dish Receiver. And that's kind of handy. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot, but it can come in handy when you want to uh, um, just kind of mess around with people. Another one last thing is here's this uh, watch now. This is loading everything that you you can watch now. Um, so you have recorded or that's on now. I'm going to click on I don't think this is going to work for me because I don't have a sling. Yeah, all this does is it turns what you're um, watching on, on that receiver right now. It's going to turn it to that channel. So this is kind of like what it does is anything you've watched it uh kind of keeps up based on you know your TV history it's going to show you um, you know things that you have recorded in the past and you can switch to now or just kind of uh, just kind of um, shows that are based on the genre that you have recorded previously or um, you have a history of watching so that's pretty neat but overall that's that's a pretty good overview um, you can set up as many receivers as you want you just have them, have to have them connected to the internet and uh, I like this app a lot. It really, really works well. Um, Dish has done a great, great job of um, making a very stable app. There's sometimes I've run into a, f a very few minor issues of when I load up the app, it doesn't show what's on the DVR. It's like it's not getting a connection to the DVR. I don't know if maybe the DVR goes to sleep after a certain amount of time. I haven't quite figured out the issue. But I usually solve it by just... Um, closing out of the app and relogging in, and that usually solves it. I'll hit refresh a couple times, so it's not a huge deal. But I do run to it on occasion, and I'm sure um, it'll be fixed in a future up, um, update. But if you guys have any questions on this app, just let me know. I'll uh, go into more detail of this app. It is I like it a lot. It's really going to help with uh, um, when you know when I'm talking to somebody and I go, oh, "You want to check out this new TV show?" I can go and DVR it and start watching a whole new series. So. Nick the Tech Guru here again. I'd just like to let you know I'm getting a blog set up for the YouTube channel so you guys will be able to check out some cool posts. I'm going to have some very interesting links on this uh, new website I'm going to be having set up. So stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to check out the 
um, giveaway. I'm a few. Uh, I'm still about 20. I think actually I'm down to 19 subscribers left until I do a giveaway. I might go early just for you guys sticking it out, but we'll see. But definitely, you know, stay stay tuned um, for more updates, and I plan on releasing a bunch more videos here shortly. So thanks again, and Nick the Tech Guru out.